it's a brand new year a fresh start one thing i love about turning the pages of my calendar and reaching the very end is that i also get to begin a new year a new chapter all over again but sometimes it can be tiring to begin again life isn't easy and we often have curve balls thrown at us from all different directions that catch us by surprise and not really in a good way but this is where we want to talk about hope the courage that it takes to start afresh the hope that keeps you and me moving into the new day that's waiting for us i'm prakriti angelina and this is renewing hope On the very first introductory episode, I have with me two very special people, Anand and Sheen. Anand and Sheen have been married for ten years, and they have a lovely little daughter who just turned four. So, Anand, could you please introduce yourselves and uh, even this podcast and share a little bit about why we're really doing this? Well, thank you, Prakriti. First of all, uh, really, we're just amazed, like how these things come together. Like we were just sharing some time ago, and. Uh, you know just through our friendship and our relationship i think this is something beautiful every time you know god aligns you know his people and just as we were discussing a couple of months ago mm-hmm. and sharing our hearts with each other that uh, you know this is something god put on our hearts you know hope is such a yes. beautiful thing mm-hmm. and uh, that can just change the world uh, altogether so to give a, a little more context uh, around this uh, both sheen and myself we are part of this ministry called uh, awakening to god ministries based uh, initially out of california right. in the united states and right now in charlotte and this is founded by an amazing couple gerard and jeanie long and uh, who are spiritual parents to us in yes. fact yeah. and uh, just uh, knowing them and we've been you know 10 years of our marriage as you just mentioned almost 7 years of our marriage we've known them oh, wow. okay. so just gleaning from you know who they are and through just learning looking at them and in fact like you know we don't have like a lot of conversations but right. for us to just uh, know just by knowing them and uh, how they are with each other that's been a great blessing for our journey in our marriage firstly wow. mental health podcast was one of the topics we were wanting to do like the podcast itself we wanted to do for a, at least a couple of years okay uh, but we believe this is the right time you know and we've been seeing the last few uh, months also how you know as, as we are focusing on this area that there's a lot more importance that is given to men, like mental health itself mm. and we're so fortunate to be in an age where we are speaking about this thing these yes. things which is so important um yeah. and we can work on that and i i feel like although there is i this age has a lot more of you know we see a lot more of uh, like one of our friends was saying it's a spectrum mm. and we see a lot more people going through various things in that spectrum but there's there's hope there's help correct and we are able to speak about it and we are in an age where we can get that help and i'm so fortunate to be a part of this Thank you. Thank you for having me uh join in. I was such a timely thing that happened, right? Like we were talking yeah. about it. I was praying about this. The Lord was putting this on my heart. I know a lot of people know me as a worship leader, singer, songwriter, artist and um but for me mental health has been a very personal journey mm. and also very intertwined with my faith journey. Mm. Uh I studied psychology really early on and every time in class I would sit and I would hear what is being taught and I would be like hey this is in the bible mm. like god has said mm. as a man thinks in his heart so mm. is he proverb says that yeah. and so many things would come up and i'm like but wait god is the source of life god is the source of actual hope yeah. like when we learned the definition of uh, depression for mm. example it says depression is a disorder characterized by persistent hopelessness mm. uh feelings of sadness and hopelessness yeah. and that's like the definition and i was like hey 
but god is offering real hope yeah. it's, it's not a it's not a lie it's not of course it's hard to be in that place of faith when you're going through that but so for me this, there was there would be this constant reality that god made us god mm. made our minds he right. designed us and if anyone has answers mm. for our struggles it is god mm. yeah and then over the years just seeing you know um how much um how important it is to talk about these things yeah. and to get help when you need it right yeah. and so it it's been on my heart that you know we in the church we need this correct um we we you know we we go to the extremes either we oversimplify the problem mm-hmm. and we say no 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 god is god is there right. that's enough okay. or you know we we try to access resources without god and mm-hmm. that is also incomplete yeah. right. healing is incomplete without god right. he is the source right and so yeah it's it's been such a timely uh, conversation mm-hmm. to have mm-hmm. and uh, i'm really excited to be on this and to even have the rest of the conversations yeah. so yeah i i yeah. i feel also just to uh, also talking about you said like you your uh, you studied this and i i felt like how god aligned uh, this whole thing mm-hmm. for you in your journey and uh, and the timing is so amazing because uh even like like we we tell everybody that you know you are the voice of this generation and you know with that influence comes that responsibility mm-hmm. and you know even small things like anything you post online you mm-hmm. know uh it it helps so many people mm-hmm. right so and we're grateful that you know you want to use that influence you know beyond the music which is phenomenal no no need, no needless to say uh but uh I think what you're also doing with your calling mm-hmm. as a, a, a worshipper to start with mm-hmm. and at the same time how God has been like using your experience and you know your learning mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. reach uh, you know our generation mm-hmm. and also the generations to come I think that's phenomenal and like wow. you said our our faith adds a completely an, another dimension into Correct. this whole mm-hmm. thing Yeah. where uh, we like as we were speaking before also where people say you know i tried everything nothing worked yeah. but uh, i would say did you try jesus yeah. and you know, did you you know give him a chance yeah. to help you in your journey mm-hmm. and it's not like he needs it mm-hmm. you know we need it more than right. you know anything else so i think bringing our faith into action into mm-hmm. our everyday life mm-hmm. i would say you know that really changes the game right mm-hmm. there where yeah. uh you no know, matter if you are on medication or uh, you know you're trying different things which are all great there to be no doubt like we like we are for all of yeah. that you know we say hope has a name and his name is jesus so when we say renewing hope mm-hmm. you know it's like an it's an everyday thing mm-hmm. so right. we need jesus in every aspect of our life and i think the reason we want to do this also is uh we think it has to come one has to come at the cost of the other we think yeah faith doesn't have to come at the cost of ignoring your health ignoring the reality right. of your day to day right like you don't have to live right. in a make believe world correct uh, our faith is so real it meets correct. us right where we are god correct. is so correct. real correct. whether it is health challenges correct. whether it is emotional challenges correct and and we don't have to focus on mental health at the cost of forgetting you know the help that we have from god himself mm-hmm. And so I think that's what we want to do yeah. even with these conversations right yeah. we want to talk yeah. about the reality like Correct. what's happening right now Correct um what are the struggles people are facing what are the struggles we are going through mm. and how god has met with us in spiritual ways supernatural mm. ways and also in these real practical ways Correct. which have included therapy which Correct. have included mental health resources Correct. all of these support Correct. Uh, that we can Correct. have right so taking this down to a very you know for myself at least basic level right like small things like you know people check their uh, you know they have their car sent for service right. every 3 months or 5000 kilometers uh we have a software update on our phone right right we do all these things and uh, and but there are many like sometimes we just forget about having you know a renewed mind right. we we're still stuck in those the same thoughts and the same thought which used to bother us and uh, this is something you know in this overview episode we wanted to set this context of mm. what's to come so i'm sure jarad at some point will talk about how to take your thoughts captive like that's mm. an exercise it's like a mental exercise 
and uh, it won't happen you know you can keep you can sit and pray for 10 hours mm. but if you have that much energy to do it you can you know put some effort to control you know your Actually, thoughts yeah working on yeah. your thoughts and it's it's an exercise you know right. you can't get stronger yeah. tomorrow you know right. and you won't lose right. like the 30 pounds in in 3 days that's then, true if you do that something seriously <laughs> yeah, wrong in true. that yeah. way right so yeah. it takes that practice it takes practice and i'm sure you know the guests who are going to be part of this mm. uh, podcast i think each one of them i think it's just again god's uh, mm. design everyone whom we were discussing and uh, whom god sent to us i think everyone is so unique so wise in their own way and it's and they're doing something in that area yeah. uh, you know and and at the same time they are also i would say you know successful people uh, not just like in yeah. the worldly way but at the same time their impact is significant and uh, this is where we are able to come together and open up a conversation and you know there are and adding to already the many great people who are doing you know resources right. like coming up with resources like this we just want to add to that and you know if it's helping everyone like at least to have an understanding of why we should have a healthy mind what is mental right. health yeah. as much as as important as that is what is not uh, mental health right. to us you know some sometimes we feel like people saying as you know mentally i was having a very bad day mm. you know but it's nothing just your car broke down that's you know <laughs> it's or your laptop is not working so sometimes yeah. we give it too much credit mm. and sometimes we ignore it too much too so you, do you want to share like uh, what are like the symptoms of you know if you say you are struggling mentally right what are the things to look like you know what is mental, what is health? mental health yes <laughs> right right that's a very good uh, i mean that's a, that's that's something that everyone thinks mm-hmm. about right so it's very helpful to look at this mm-hmm. as um a spectrum mm-hmm. right? right like it it's not just so for example i like to draw a parallel between uh, mental health and physical health mm. right we all have a body right? right we all have different organs right. different systems that are designed and that are functioning sometimes they don't function well right. we we have something or the other going wrong and you know we go take help when do you go take help if you have a small uh, cold sometimes you just wait it out you let Correct. your body do the yeah. work you know and that's amazing to think of because our mind is also created by yeah. god to be incredibly resilient yeah. incredibly powerful if you go into the neuroscience right. of it it's mind blowing yeah. literally yes, that's true <laughs> you know? uh and so it's amazing to see um, our mental capacities our physical capacities Capacity, as well right like yes. people who go for training they love to push the limits they love yeah. to see what their body can do yeah so it's helpful to understand that we all have a mind we all have emotions we all have thoughts mm-hmm. constantly in our i i mean you know yes. the, yeah. the yeah. facts right we have so many thousands and thousands of right. thoughts in our head right. every day and obviously when you have uh, thoughts and emotions th- there's also the good sides of it and the bad sides yes. of it right like at any point in our day mm-hmm. that things will happen you know we we get a little stressed mm-hmm. we get a little nervous before Correct. this podcast yeah. i was a little nervous <laughs> <laughs> you know so feeling nervous mm. is not the same as having anxiety yeah. right mm. so we need to understand that there is a spectrum there is there are levels mm. of severity just right. like you would understand a physical illness mm. right when you have fever for a couple of days body is fighting something and then you're okay right. what if the fever does not go mm. what if it persists mm. what if you are suffering in other ways you know right. you're facing all sorts of different symptoms right. then you know that something is seriously wrong yeah. and you need to take help mm. and so we we need to understand that we can't completely trivialize or ignore mm. our stress either yeah. right. uh, if you're someone who is constantly feeling irritable angry for everything mm. maybe there's a deeper underlying yeah. issue yeah. something yeah. is Correct. really troubling you Correct. Mm. and so i think the first thing to understand is we need to pay attention to our mental health mm. because right. we're so used to mm. ignoring it neglecting mm. ah, it's mm. fine it's fine i'll go on with yeah. my day Correct. i have to Correct. know there are other Correct. important Correct. things mm. we Correct. keep doing Correct. that Yeah. And so just to understand okay what am i feeling right now Correct. what is going on with me Correct. you know even to just take a moment to notice even your body Correct. like we say the body and the mind have such a close Correct. connection that your body will actually tell you signs of what's going Correct. wrong you'll think oh why is my stomach getting upset every time 
it could be something to do with your stomach but if there is no you know physical reason there could be something else happening in your mind yeah. so to start off with just understanding that all of us um need to take care of our mental mm. health in whatever capacity correct um and when it comes to severity when it comes to mm. so in the dsm5 and clinical definitions mm. we define disorders as um you know when your mental physical emotional behavioral states are so affected mm. that you cannot function properly yeah. in your right. day to day life right mm. if i am a mom if i am Correct. working somewhere i can't function fully mm. Correct. that's how you understand physical health Correct. also right exactly I, ideally we need to be Correct. thriving we need to be healthy Correct. we need to have good Correct. habits that uh, help us take care of our diet our mm. exercise all of that so it's helpful to understand it that way and see okay if it is really in a difficult place mm. and there are things that are going really wrong then mm. we need to be open to taking help right and that's where the conversation starts yeah. i think it's is more to do with you know uh, keeping our emotions in check mm. and our thoughts in check mm. um and aligning it with what the word says mm. you know so we are going in a balanced form um and it this rem- i i i get reminded of this word says self control mm. and it's one of the fruits of the spirit right and they're so interlinked and it doesn't automatically happen true we like anand was saying it is a practice we need to really put in effort to make that work correct so if somebody is ang- i i used to be uh, a very angry person you know I, anand is <laughs> can testify to Tell it me about but <laughs> ask me about it <laughs> but right. um it's it's been a journey yeah. i've learned i i can't say i've i've got over it at least i know that i've gotten better right i've i'm i'm much better i know that i have done better and that has given me even more boost to become much better in the coming years right so i think putting it into practice yeah. and uh keeping it under check um you know it's so important mm. and like you know best part about uh, being a believer is that you can take all these references from what mm. has happened in the bible and, and if you see in the bible ev- from the first person adam till whoever is recorded everybody has gone through it is yeah. they've not labeled as a mental illness right. but i think <laughs> everybody at some level have gone through stress yeah. have gone through uh so many frustrations you know, frustrations yeah. like david has gone through so many things like you know just he was promised yeah. uh, becoming a king the stress yeah. of waiting and fighting for it yeah. in spite of being so anointed yeah. i mean that's a lot of stress um noah you know he was responsible for saving people and the <laughs> you know the planet for the coming right. years yeah. so that's, that's a lot a huge of load. it's it's a <laughs> lot of stress compared to a car breaking down you yeah. know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know so yeah. it's a lot of stress and this it's the same god he's the god who was is and you know will be yeah. Yeah. and he he's there forever mm. and if the bible worked then god spoke to them he's speaking to us even now Correct. and it's the same word you know it ministers to us correct so i i i feel like working on this like working uh putting really effort into yeah. uh our emotions correct. keeping it in check uh is very important i think that's where we get to balance and and that's an everyday thing like physically if you are not working out then we right. fat accumulates correct. so it's, it's a, just it's about exercise. exercising as yeah. a normal person really renewing your mind right yeah. so just bringing that also into today's context where you know we live in the instant generation like mm. right you know every we are in the uh, i called it rolls this morning instead of reels <laughs> <laughs> that just shows my <laughs> generation anyway so i think you know we can we can always argue saying like you know you're talking about noah david but these people lived like centuries like thousands of years ago how is their you know thing relevant to my time mm. but again that's where it's it's just about you know how god is still relevant like jesus yeah. still works today mm-hmm. and uh, you know every word in the holy bible mm. you know that has been you know you can't argue with that i mean that it's <laughs> it's relevant there's no you know thing yeah it's a living word yeah. and it's eternal yeah. and right? yeah. yeah for sure so just those biblical principles how yeah. that comes into this picture i think one of the most important aspect i feel 
is having the right you know community around you yeah. for example like how sheen was saying about uh, anger and like you know mm. just having that companion like you know mm. uh, in the ways where i was struggling mm. uh, sheen was that help for me and uh, you know just finding that you know that person i think loneliness is one of the biggest uh, mm. uh, the epidemic like yeah. we were talking yeah. this morning yeah. people are struggling with uh, being lonely alone feeling lonely the world health organization recently released uh, uh, a statement saying uh, loneliness right now is equivalent to maybe smoking 15 cigarettes a day wow. that's how badly it's being experienced wow. Wow. that's how damaging it can be yeah. so sometimes like you said like you know if somebody is going through something we very quickly tell them you know everything will be fine you know on, on all those good things we all mean with a good intention yeah but at the same time to sometimes yeah to sometimes it helps to, to <laughs> yeah. people to get forget it mm. you know and come back on track yeah. but uh, what we want to do through this uh, initiative also is to acknowledge the fact that we are all human to at some yeah. level uh, you know if only everything was right beautiful and uh, you know rosy in our yeah. world <laughs> then we would not need jesus or like yeah. you know it would just be a completely different place yeah. but for us to break that stigma that yeah. even the statement which we were always talking it's okay to not be okay yeah. you know it's yeah. fine like you know when we say when again it's fine yeah. Yeah. people say like usually when even though that your world is crashing down mm-hmm. someone walks up to you and say hey how are you doing by default we say i'm fine everything's good by god's good. grace yes. <laughs> by god's grace uh, yes right. yeah yeah in his will been. yeah <laughs> so we, we feel like at least we should be ready to be in a place with with our uh, on own friends yeah. like sometimes prakriti when we when you visit hyderabad when we sit and talk yeah. we don't talk about how life is great yeah. sometimes yeah. right yeah. Did we, you we, see we, my views and yeah. the number yeah. of yeah. views i got yeah. <laughs> yes. so but we we do okay. sit down mm-hmm. we talk about like real life stuff yeah. things which are not not yeah. fine right yeah. and That's which fine. is which we should have that space with uh, somebody and uh, again we we need to find that real that the people the real people yeah. whom yeah. you can trust yeah. and uh, because many times by you know by sharing you know it can be like reshared like a whatsapp <laughs> forward oh yeah so <laughs> i think you need to be very mindful <laughs> about this yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> yes i think that we are now we are talking the language of today <laughs> Yeah, so i think yeah. we should uh, really uh, acknowledge that uh, at some level you know we are all we all need help yeah. nobody is uh, you know we want to be like jesus yeah. but uh, we we always fall short of that you know we can never yeah. with, and only he can fill that gap we yeah. can be but yeah. without him it it's always going to yeah. be empty so yeah. that's why i want to encourage people to look, try jesus you know yeah. you said you're trying everything mm. you're going to therapy you're going taking medication yeah, yeah that's all good well and good i like, don't stop right. that right, right, right. but you know right. bringing jesus into the picture right. like mm. that just changes it's incomplete everything. without yes. yes that's what i truly believe yeah. and yeah knowing like you know it's okay like it's okay to have a bad day yeah. and uh, we were as we were talking to like you know someone going through grief navigating mm. through grief also So we say it's okay be strong like those are the yeah. words we say right yeah, be strong yeah we're wounding to someone who went through yeah? that yeah. pain right yeah i think like, see, yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, so, you want to be strong you want to be better Correct. no one wants to be sick right but yeah, yeah like you were saying gerard uh, advised uh, when when my grandma passed when i couldn't come she's like my mom and i couldn't come and then she said i mentioned to you before right mm. so he said you know you should grieve through the process you don't, you don't rush, rush it no. yeah. you don't rush grief you mm. you grieve and you process it and then you uh you know you you yeah, do what will make you feel better yeah yeah you after after that phase so yeah. i and that re- it really helped correct i i love yeah. what you brought out uh, ana you said it's okay to not be okay mm. right like that statement mm. is important for us in the church to hear right because there's i mean that's religion right it puts mm-hmm. this pressure on us to be perfect yeah but the yeah. gospel literally is jesus meeting yeah. us in our absolute correct. broken state exactly. absolute yeah. helplessness correct to mm-hmm. make to make things happen for us which correct. we could never do for correct. ourselves correct yeah. correct but this stigma of mm-hmm. oh no i can't i can't share about mm-hmm. what i'm going through mm-hmm. because i am supposed to be a christian correct. i am supposed to have correct. and you're the the faith the leader the, the yeah. how can <laughs> you have a bad day <laughs> <laughs> you know it's yeah 
it's a real it's a stigma and mm. the, the world is struggling yeah. right. with it and we in the church um being the ones who carry the hope mm. the mercies of god the Correct. new mercies of god every Correct. single day yeah. we need to be the ones extending that hand to mm. others and saying it's okay if you're suffering it's okay if you're not okay because there is a god who will meet Correct. you in this place Correct. Yeah. and it's okay for now Correct. you don't have to figure it all Correct. out overnight you know it's not like today we felt good so yeah. we are going to feel better every day yeah, and then you feel like oh why am i feeling this again right yeah. you I know, already you know go you know this. i was just sharing some time back that you know where you say the glass is half full yeah and that's a very good perspective right. when you say that glass is half full is a very optimistic view mm. correct yeah that's but true. you should also acknowledge the point that the glass is also half empty correct so <laughs> that is where you fill it up if yeah. you keep That's letting the half That's yeah if you keep yeah, letting the half water yeah. be there <laughs> and it's going low and low and low yeah. and you're not filling it up it's mm. it's going to get empty and then yeah. at one point your emotions keep getting so like you know intense and, and yeah, you can yeah. feel drained and that kind of take a, takes a toll not just on your mental physical mm. your surroundings your friends your relationships mm. and everything starts crumbling down mm. and it gets very like you know to a point where it's correct you can't you, you have do anything take, at that yeah. point and then you're in Stop. crisis mode correct yeah. Yeah. so then that's 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 where like you know be keeping our emotions in check practicing some of these things as important as our physical uh, training yeah, is correct. our mental like you know mind training our mind to be be check of uh, uh, checking ourselves to be aware i think that's yeah. that's a really good point what i want to highlight you know uh, from what you said is that illustration of the half mm-hmm. uh, the glass being half full and half empty we've always heard this no yes. for yeah. so many years but we've never thought why can't i do something about it yes. why can't i just pour some water <laughs> yeah. just appreciating the half fullness <laughs> yes it's just like oh yeah. that's a really good point because when it comes to things like depression for example mm. you feel so hopeless mm. you you really believe that mm. there's nothing i can do to change mm. this i'm telling you from personal experience I couldn't even see my life beyond the age of 18. Mm-hmm. I genuinely thought that I mean I was suicidal as well at that point. Mm-hmm. And I genuinely thought that I'm going to end my life. There is no hope for me. Mm-hmm. Things are just going to end. That's right. how consuming it was in my mind. And I just couldn't see past because I was like no nothing has gone right in my life. Everything is hopeless. God's promises are there but they're working for someone else. It's mm-hmm. not happening for me. and it was so all consuming and just want to remind yeah. those watching as well that we can do something yeah. about it yeah. uh, right. if you can't do something about it there, there might be someone who can do yeah. that for mm. you you know who can hold your hand mm. uh, bring you out of that season journey yeah. with you Correct. but there is always hope mm. there is always right. hope and thank you for not losing that hope yes. because look today like yes. uh, being the voice for mm. generation and reaching literally millions of people with your uh, voice mm-hmm. i think that's one another aspect which comes to that is you know to knowing knowing your purpose mm-hmm. you know yeah. especially when you are very young uh, really young i i i would recommend at least i, I don't know if it's relevant today but i think before <laughs> 25 which i would say now before 20 right you know we should know like why we are even here why, why am i here yeah. like you know yeah. great resource for uh, us to know like you know something like an alpha course mm-hmm. or things like that like being part of uh, you know actively taking part mm-hmm. in a church and plugging in yeah. you know that's where like you know by doing those things you are making space for god to yeah. enter yeah. into your life yeah. and then we know why we are here on planet mm-hmm. earth and what am i here for and to knowing that purpose, p- purpose. Yeah. and uh, you know losing a loved one is mm-hmm. is hard Yeah. And uh, this is where again like you know knowing Gerard and Jeannie like we said a lot much of wisdom imparted you know we started understanding the eternal perspective. Right. You yeah. know when you compare your time on earth you know yeah. from an eternal standpoint it's just a dot. Yeah. And uh, you know you're always you're never going to be here forever. Yeah. And for <laughs> us knowing that yeah. you know yeah. there is a life after you know beyond yeah, this yeah there's more to the story yes. than just yes. this yeah. moment this yes. emotion that i'm yeah. feeling right now yeah. or yeah. even if it's been a few years right. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and then as you know we were comforted by that very fact yeah that uh, you know it's not over yet yes. you know right. there is yeah. th- there is hope like yes. like we were talking uh, as statistics said uh, even the part of the mm. world where we're living in india yeah. is the youngest nation on planet earth yes. yeah. and the number one cause of death in yeah. young people 
is suicide yeah. and it starts from a place of hopelessness right. so that is where you know avenues like this become important yeah. yes. even in our community where uh, we feel like yes we are believers we have the hope mm. uh, but we are seeing a growing need in in, in our own communities correct that correct. our people are struggling our correct. people are feeling lonely left out yeah. and they are taking drastic steps yeah. to you know ending their life or uh, self harming right. and uh, doing various things mm. but uh, through you know initiatives like these right. if uh, if we are able to share that mm. hey you're not alone you right. know we are, we are here or somebody you know find someone or you know it's easy to say that's true yeah. but it takes some work and it's not so, like tomorrow but, everything will be fine yeah but yeah. it starts there it yeah. starts, starts yeah. like you were yeah. saying i think for us first step even can be helping people know that they're not alone right. in that Correct. process helping young people know Correct. that hey you're not weird mm. for thinking these things or you're not weird for running away from it also mm. sometimes correct. you run away from it you don't want to think about correct. it correct. Correct. you want to just correct. yeah so okay. yeah and he he made, he created us for community and not to just live in isolation yeah, yeah. and uh, at the same time uh, you know we were talking about singleness right. which also comes with a lot of you know the society like pressure at right. the eyes as you were at a certain age yeah. you should be married and you yeah. know all these things which Ministrios. yeah ministry <laughs> yeah yeah how can right. you be alone and yeah. you know yeah. serving which is which are yeah okay for the next end mm-hmm. you can say they are valid but yeah. as much as we you know we have to have that shut off uh, yes. you know mm. like uh, what is it do not disturb <laughs> mode I'm, i'm trying to yeah, learn yes. the language yeah <laughs> dnd mode on yeah. so and mm-hmm. and then at the right time like you know god will you know send that person Yeah. and uh, at yeah. the same time you we also need to take those steps it's not like i'm sitting and <laughs> right. praying for the right uh, mm, person right. to arrive in my life and uh, nobody is coming right. but you know he acts, he wants as much as we are waiting on god mm. to come and work in our situations yeah. right. he's also expecting us to do our bit right. like you know like the right. per, the person the yeah. cripple at the pool mm. like, uh, god jesus said like get up and take him right. pick yeah. up your matter mm. yeah. he didn't bend down and pull him up from his yeah. carrying yeah. his hand yeah. so whatever is in our strength Correct. if we do that yeah, god will come yeah that's a powerful perspective yeah. i remember for me freedom from depression in mm. fact started at this point mm. i was waiting for deliverance mm. i was like an angel is going to come miracle mm. is going to happen right. i'm going to get transformed mm. overnight <laughs> i was like god you've done this you can do this you are a miracle worker you are a way maker right. <laughs> at that time the song yeah, was not there that's right <laughs> correct and i remember god saying prakriti mm. you have the power mm. to choose yeah and to a depressed person that can sound very offensive that's right. because yeah. like no i can't i can't the only thing i would say is i can't i can't yeah. but my mom would remind me philippians 4:13 i can do all things through christ who gives yes. me strength mm-hmm. and now there is a point where that can offend someone who is yeah. going through real struggle especially when weakness. they don't they're not in the space to they're understand not in the state to yeah. handle that kind correct. of mm-hmm. correct but there is a point where we need to be open to mm-hmm. the voice of god the word of god because when god said that to me he was like no you can't choose mm-hmm. you have the authority you have the power mm. to choose joy right yes. now to say i'm not yes. going to continue in this pattern yes. i'm not mm. going to let this stronghold Correct. take over my life mm. and it was really difficult mm. he was like i want you to say i can do all things through christ yeah. you know and i was in the middle of i don't know what it was that mm. time we ha- i didn't even have understanding mm. at that time i don't know if it was an anxiety attack or just a depressive episode i don't mm. know but i was just crying and saying yeah. i can do all things uh, <laughs> so sweet wow. yeah. that's so and good and it started yeah. there yeah, yeah. Mm. to just even be like okay i do have Correct. accountability responsibility of my own life mm. or my own emotions yes and god is with us in that journey Correct. and that's right. what i want to remind Absolutely. you Correct. Yeah. as much as you know it can be a very lonely journey yeah. sometimes mm. God is with us in that journey exactly. to stand with us to fight with us and to push us and say hey no you can you yes. can i'm with you yes. you can overcome this yes. so yes. well said like we have to take that step like yeah. to take that step and and acknowledge confess yeah. and uh, begin and then a lot of us like you know we've also like we're a lot like you know we've gotten over some things we've overcome mm. also right. in some areas and we've right. we've not overcome in all the areas we're not perfect but like for for some of us who have overcome certain situations and you know we want to be there now that we we are here and we want to help in our community we right. see people going through and and in ATG we call them hope warriors mm. 
Mm. Uh, you know how we've we've overcome it, mm. and for some of us, it's you know, and we want to help. Mm. You know, just bombarding somebody saying, "Hey, what are you going through?" and mm. that's mm. that's a big thing. Yeah. So I mm. think to take small steps like um, instead of asking, "Hey, how are you?" Mm. saying, "Hey, how is the family?" If you know them, like you know, a little personally, yeah. be more specific into yeah. asking is, questions. Yeah, about. if you if you're very like in a in a public setting, saying, "How are you?" You're only going to get like a "I'm good" yeah, kind of thing. Mm. But then true. then <laughs> you'll say, "But that person never shared with me." You know, I asked. Mm. So we can That's be a little one. more sensible in asking questions if we are intentional in yeah. like you know being there for someone. Correct. I think we should be a little more intentional in connecting to them. and letting them be uh you know sometimes they, all they all someone needs is a ear that's you know, true to hear that's true. and not just like just be there for that physically and not hear them yeah. out i am saying like people can tell people yeah. can tell when you're not listening yes. you all have an yes. innate ability yes i think <laughs> yes. i think to show that you know y- you are there for someone true. actually counts for a lot Yeah. Uh, and you know when we say hey go step out find someone it's very hard for that person who's really going through uh you know very intense symptoms of you know depression yeah. or something and they need someone they need somebody who's really willing to open their space or their That's heart yeah. for you yeah. so if we want to be that person i think we should be a little more specific yeah. intentional That's beautiful and uh, and and letting people in Yes, uh, yeah. Then, uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that will open. Oh, yeah. That will open a conversation. That will open yeah. a space for people to become a community. Mm, definitely. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I, and you both have been amazing at making space for people, being so generous in the way that you love, right? And the way that you open your home, yeah. open your hearts <laughs> to people. I've I've been blessed by that. Mm. And sometimes it that's all it takes. Yeah. Right. So how is your mm. process into you know even thinking about mental health and you know. Sometimes uh, you know being among the right people like kind of is, it matters such a lot and I've learned this uh, over many years mm-hmm. like you know choosing your company yeah. and for me you know you know having the perfect companion for mm-hmm. my life and mm-hmm. she actually challenges me to do wow. some things which uh, I may not be you know we call this make it very cool thing that like I'm wired this way mm. you know yeah. uh, i am wired in a certain way yeah. yeah but she kind of challenges me sometimes to do some things to which i'm not wired necessarily wired to be like that mm. an example is like she asks me to text my friends mm. <laughs> to not for anything why don't you check on just say hi to them and uh, tell them hey how are you doing that's all so but when i do that like you know sometimes yeah, sometimes they say oh, hi that's it but sometimes like you know we end up having those conversations and like you know knowing about so i think doing those small things with mm. great love mm. uh, i think that that's goes beautiful. a long way mm. and uh, being open and uh, you know to you know open to criticism not it's not criticism i would say you know like how you you challenged just to be part of this episode mm. we wanted to be like you know behind <laughs> the cameras but i think uh, taking those the small steps yeah. i think that that go a long way one thing we really learn to cherish is the relationships yeah. Yeah. and uh, sometimes like yeah yeah. Mm. yeah and it's true and i've seen it <laughs> yeah and uh, and there are many people who could who can misunderstand you and who can uh, feel something else mm. but uh, but you know for us it it has to be like you know it's active like love is a verb Yeah. you know it's as much as it's a feeling yeah uh, you have to work at it yeah. uh, you know so That's i think true. those That's are some intention. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. it's intense you have to put in that work yeah. some some people tell us you know you and she and you know man you get along very well it's mm. easy for you mm. we actually tell them it's actually not easy like mm. it's easy to stay apart yeah. right. to stay yeah. together and make it <laughs> yeah. work every yeah. day that's the yeah. challenge yeah. and that's it's beautiful like, the challenging is it is it's beautiful as well because mm. ultimately it's about fulfilling his purpose mm. right. uh, right. through our lives and through our marriage and uh, through family right. and uh, if god's purpose is fulfilled through our lives i think uh, nothing better than that yeah that's yeah. that's beautiful yeah. i i always knew anna to be very relational and i didn't know i didn't know she was there's somebody spot. behind that <laughs> behind yes that <laughs> that's amazing that's yeah. amazing yeah i mean yeah then that, that goes a long way you know it just uh, just texting someone you know yeah. like hey how have yeah. you how have you yeah. been how have you been yeah i think Definitely. this is where i think 
see this we are talking in the context of okay yes we are friends we are married mm. uh, that's that's one setting but not everybody is is meant like they are not there at this point so do they have to wait till that point not necessarily True. so yeah. this is where we believe in having relationships where you have a friend who's a confidant mm. i think and then to have a mentor uh, yeah. to yeah. Uh, you know who's able to guide you through your everyday uh you know so, journey yeah. and to know what right from wrong and then to have a spiritual father or a, a parent like mm. j- it can be a mother or a father mm. i think it helps to keep yeah. all these people having having them at Support different systems, levels right? yeah. yes that then it helps you to keep yourself in check Yeah. and 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 then you are there for others who when yeah. when it's time you know yeah. Yeah. because you've learned from the best and then you're passing it down to yeah. those that's, who are that's really like, good you know. i think that's a good point mm. as we come to the close of this yeah. conversation right like this overview mm. um i think that's that's an amazing point to say that in this disconnected mm. age mm. it's important to pursue connection yes. it's important yeah. to pursue Absolutely. relationships yes. because mm. even a lot of this is happening because of relationships yes, it's exactly. happening because um yeah. you know we met each other in those conversations in those yeah. really difficult times i remember mm. i remember when uh, you know i was going through a really hard time yeah. and uh, just even being at your home you were yeah. just like it's okay sleep it's yeah. okay if you need to yeah. you know yeah. because it's something so small yeah. it might seem very yeah. small yeah. but at that time it was just the space that i needed right. to really rest correct. and feel loved mm. and correct. feel safe correct and yeah. that can make all the difference correct mm. and so prioritizing relationships i really yeah. believe that's the heart of yeah. god yeah. uh, one thing that we need to understand in the church context is where as we're trying to serve god love god do all of these things the more we allow god to meet us in our brokenness in our weakness yeah. the more we remove this shame right of oh, i'm not okay i'm not okay yeah. the more we receive we actually have so much more light mm. so much more hope mm. yeah. so much more of god mm. to give to the people yeah. in our life and also mm. you know have that overflow Correct. to others yeah. it starts with you know starts yes. with filling our cup yeah. right. filling ourselves right. so yeah yes amazing so glad that uh, we were able to you know start this off and yeah. excited for the yeah. other episodes to come yeah. and yes. amazing i think uh, people are in for a treat <laughs> with, yes. uh, obviously you being there and uh, having the conversation with the amazing other people such a blessing thank you thank you both for uh, stepping in and you know just sharing yes. wherever you are on your journey you know one thing uh, i realized while speaking to both of you was there's so much insight you know into people right? because you know you value people because yeah. you care about relationships mm. and uh, i just love how you've made space for this conversation mm-hmm. so timely yeah. and just want to thank both of you for even featuring on the first thank very you. first episode <laughs> yes. of thank you for <laughs> hope <laughs> thank you for pushing us like yeah. <laughs> it was hard but you really been a so, support yeah. emotionally oh, so to glad. be here <laughs> thank you thank you oh, thank you so much we're looking forward to the rest of the episodes it's going to be some great conversations mm-hmm. on some really nuanced mm-hmm. topics mm-hmm. so i'm personally looking forward to it and uh, we hope to have you there thank you for joining us for this episode we really hope that you enjoyed the conversation if you would like prayer or you want to share how this conversation has impacted you please write to us on our email renewinghope@awakeningtogod.org conversations like these can make all the difference to someone going through a challenging time if you would like to support us in making more content like this please visit our website awakeningtogod.org or click the link in the description below. If you are struggling or going through a difficult season, please know that you are not alone and help is available. We've shared a few resources in the description box below. Reaching out is the first step. And make sure that you share this with someone else who might need it as well.